Ever seen a dog play Jenga? Want to watch the cup stacking champion of the world? How about reuniting with some dinosaurs in an airport? These are just a few of the things good folks like you keep capturing by simply using your device to film real life. It's that easy. A guy on a mower pulling nine dogs on a train. That's a new one. The circumstances in this roster of videos may seem strange, even unexplainable, but we're here for it. We wouldn't have it any other way. It won't be long before you see what we mean. 15 Incredible Moments Caught on Camera, Part 2. <coughs> duck Army On many farms in Southeast Asia, an army of ducks isn't that unusual. Rice farmers enlist these birds, called field-chasing ducks, to eat their way through rice paddies after a harvest. They help eat golden apple snails and the remains of unwanted rice husks that remain in the field from the last harvest. Plus, the ducks also step on the rice stubble to flatten the ground and that makes it easier to plow. This integrated farming system is traditional here. As of 2020, there were about 30 million ducks farmed throughout Thailand alone. From January to August every year, the country exports more than 4 million tons of rice with the ducks' help and almost a quarter of the duck army was a breed called Khaki Campbell, known for its reliable egg laying. When they're 20 days old, ducks are brought to the fields and get to graze in large herds as they're moved from farm to farm. The young ducks are raised this way until they're around five to six months old when they'll return to the breeder's farm to lay eggs for a few years or to be sold as meat. Studies suggest that integrated rice duck farming systems are not only beneficial to the environment, but they also can increase crop yield. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Dinosaur Reunion If you're a big traveler and love to take a long adventure abroad, airport reunions can be some of the most tissue-worthy scenes. Loved ones finally seeing each other again after a long time or over a long distance. All the feels but one family might have nailed the most perfect airport reunion on a Jurassic level and the video was making everyone's hearts melt. A grandmother surprised her grandkids by arriving in a Tyrannosaurus Rex costume at the airport. When she came for a visit again, the two grandchildren plotted to get her back with two dinosaur costumes of their own. But their plan was foiled by a quick-thinking granny who also arrived in her old dinosaur costume again. This resulted in an abundance of dinosaurs at the Victoria British Columbia Airport in Canada, making for the amazing reunion that no one would ever forget. So you might have to bring your A-game the next time you pick up a loved one at the airport. The two boys were completely shocked to see another dinosaur tottering towards them, a sight that resulted in laughs from the observing crowd at the airport. The Jurassic-style welcome gave Grandma a taste of her own medicine. Of course, the grandmother was one step ahead and had came prepared. <laughs> the Ard Blair Stones The Ard Blair Stones are nine reinforced concrete spheres ranging in weight from 40 to 335 pounds. And in this competition, the stones must be loaded sequentially from lightest to heaviest onto whiskey kegs. The event is judged on time and the number of stones lifted. The Ard Blair Stones are named after Ard Blair Castle, which is located in Scotland. Since the very first Art Blair Stones event in 2013, almost 2,000 people have attempted it. The first successful lift of all nine stones was made by John Pollock in a time of 58.55 seconds in 2015. Since then, many people have gone on to do the same. The current ladies' world record is held by Donna Moore, who loaded seven of the Art Blair Stones in a time of 37.14 seconds. Before the advent of the Art Blair Stones, their inventor had a keen interest in strength athletics, which originated from watching the world's strongest man on the TV as a child. The first stones were made in 2008. The reinforced concrete stones soon became a feature in the castle grounds where he would use them to train. The heavy lifter in this video, Andrew Kearney, is actually known as Scotland's strongest man. And as you can see, he lives up to his reputation. <laughs> High Wire Bike this Belgian athlete's balance is on a whole other level. After more than one year of preparation and months of intensive training, he succeeded at an altitude of 8,858 feet 
to ride his bike over a 60-foot-long slack line from one rock to another, over a 367-foot drop in the French Alps. When it comes to winning titles, Kenny Bailey is one of the best in the world. He has no fewer than four UCI World Championships to his name. The athlete and nine-time World Trail Bike Champion also grabbed a medal at a World Championship, his 12th medal in 14 participations. Most certainly an achievement to be proud of, but nothing close to what he pulled off on these peaks. Winning isn't always enough, and even champions know that sometimes you need to push the limits of the sport and of your own ability. The idea behind his ambitious high-wire bike trick was to make his bike do what bikes shouldn't be able to do. And for Kenny, this time meant riding a slack line between two peaks in the French Alps. This is proof of being perfectly in balance, not only resulting in spectacular footage, but also making a world first. But this daredevil was ready for the high wire bike challenge. <laughs> the Dog Train A railroad retiree took on the greatest job of his life when he became a conductor for a dog train in Fort Worth, Texas. He and his brother teamed up to make this custom transportation for abandoned dogs. This is the happy fuel you need to make your day brighter. The cars are made from fiberglass barrels and are being pulled by a tractor trailer. For the retiree slash doggy train conductor, the decision to give dogs joy was natural. He'd spent 20 years rescuing dogs and providing them with a temporary shelter and health care. And what could lift a dog's spirit more than a lot of love and a fun ride? Many of the canines would have written on the train were former strays taken in for a better life. You see, the dog lover lived on a dead-end street where many locals bring their unwanted dogs to leave them behind. So he began operating a sort of animal shelter and taking the dogs for rides with his tractor. He was a pretty good welder too, so he took these plastic barrels with holes cut in them, put wheels under them, and tied them together. The clip, originally from 2015, recently resurfaced and people are loving it. Like humans, the dogs take in the views and enjoy the moments as well. <laughs> giant Wave Pool This giant wave pool is 2,200 feet by 500 feet with the ride clocking in at 45 seconds, the longest of any of the world's wave pools to date. A wave is generated about every two minutes and ranges in size from three to six feet, and it was created by an iconic surfer, Kelly Slater. Kelly's design is one of the most famous wave pools in the world. The prototype transformed an abandoned water ski park in California into the upscale surf ranch, the darling of the surf set. The system is a simple plow design. A specially designed submerged foil is pulled down a straight track at high or low velocity, displacing water to create a wave that breaks along the wave pool's specially designed path. The wave plow only generates a rideable swell on one side of the track, but it's bi-directional, going in one direction to create lefts and the other direction to create rights. And you don't have to be a surfer to enjoy this giant wave pool. The clubhouse, locker room, and connecting outdoor patio space, hot tub, and fire pit provide an active communal area for you and your guests to socialize while taking in views of the wave. Beyond the perfect wave and luxurious yet comfortable amenities, there are experts on hand to improve your surfing, ensure your safety, provide hospitality, and deliver positive energy as well. BMX Grandpa This guy proves that age ain't nothing but a number. Look at Grandpa go! BMX bikes were originally built for dirt track racing. But in the 1970s, people started to see them as a new way of doing stunts on their bikes. The term BMX originated from what was originally called Bicycle Motocross Association. In 1975, it became more than what it once was and took off in popularity. They soon became popular all over America and then around the world. And this grandpa riding like a rock star existed long before BMX bikes did. But that didn't stop him from performing expert level stunts like the candy bar pedal picker or the ankle buster. This slick senior makes it look easy. The bikes originally were designed for kids to use as an alternative method of transportation in suburban neighborhoods. Nowadays, BMX or freestyle riding is more popular than ever before due to increased availability and popularity on social media. The inner child in this old man is on board. In fact, he seems to be leading the pack if these stunts are any indication. So don't let growing older stop you from trying. 
Crosswalk Circus. This performance artist clearly won't let traffic stop him from putting on a show. In fact, he's the one blocking traffic. Once the light turns red at an intersection, he climbs his unicycle, starts spinning hoops on his legs and arms, balances a ball in his mouth while spinning a small basketball on his finger, and juggling pins in his only free hand, all before the light changes. In only a few seconds, his show-stopping street performance moves from one trick to another while balancing on a unicycle. Performance art like this, called busking, has a long history that dates back to the medieval ages. Back then, local merchants would invite buskers to their storefronts, plazas, and public squares to attract new business. The American tradition has its roots in the many circuses that used to travel from coast to coast. But as the golden age of circuses started to fade, circus performers changed up their acts for street corners and eventually became a mainstay in American street performance. The legacy is not lost on its individual. Is he the best of the buskers? Probably. Hopefully, the drivers waiting at the traffic light were willing to empty their wallets for this crosswalk circus performer. He definitely earned it. <laughs> Thank God Ledge In Yosemite National Park in California lies a granite dome that's more than 8,800 feet high. Thousands of visitors hike to the Half Dome Summit each year, rewarded with spectacular views and an experience that's not easily forgotten. But nothing compares to trying out the Thank God Ledge and it's as scary as it sounds. The ledge is a small flat surface located 2,000 feet up on one of Yosemite Park's cliffs. It was named this because hikers would say, oh thank God there's a ledge, and for that reason, it's a popular rock climbing destination. In fact, though the rock formation has become one of Yosemite's most iconic symbols, it's also one of the most dangerous hikes in the United States. In a five-year period, Half Dome's perilous climb prompted at least 140 search and rescue missions, 290 accidents, and 12 deaths. Before 2010, up to 1,200 people per day attempted the climb, but that year, the National Park Service put a 300-person per day limit on the Half Dome Summit and required hikers to apply for a daily permit. And if you're willing to attempt climbing to Thank God Ledge, taking your life into your own hands is clearly not that big of a deal to you. Old Man Fridge Age is nothing but a number, and this old man is stopping at nothing to get the fridge moved with only some rope, a cane, and determination. A strong back and knees help too. And although there's no information online as to the location or who this senior strong man is, it really is life-affirming. So let's consider some spectacular feats from other seniors proving you're never too old to break records. At age 86, Jim Arrington of California became the world's oldest male bodybuilder after getting hooked on bodybuilding when he was just 15 years old. Back in the 1940s, and he's been competing ever since. If Arrington is the strongest senior citizen, Ida Keeling of New York City is the fastest, becoming the oldest woman in the world to compete in the 100-meter dash at 100 years old. Robert Merchant of France broke a record on wheels with a jaw-dropping 14-mile bike ride in an hour earlier this year at 105 years old. Betty Godard holds the record for the oldest female performing flying trapeze artist. So there's still hope for this fridge-hauling man who may look like he's on his last legs. But even men half his age couldn't handle moving a kitchen appliance while it's strapped to their back. Hmm. Magic Pool do you want to see science at work in your own backyard? The smooth water pouring out of this pool is an example of laminar flow. There's nothing like some leisure time in an above-ground pool on a sizzling summer day. You fill it up with air. You take a dip or splash around for a bit and cool off. Or maybe you float on an inflatable and work on your tan. But when you eventually drain it, that's when you can truly get a look at this magic water like you're seeing in these TikTok clips. But it's not magic at all. Laminar flow is smooth and layered, and the water molecules move in a uniform velocity profile as it pours. A flow is considered to exhibit laminar or streamlined behavior when the fluid particles travel in a smooth, parallel path without any intermixing or disruption between the adjacent layers. It's all about water pressure and velocity. At any given point, the velocity, pressure, and other flow attributes in a laminar flow remain constant. Not making sense? Visualize the flow of blood in the veins. This is laminar flow. Other examples of laminar flow are honey or maple syrup flowing out of a nozzle. So try this science experiment with your pool and see for yourself. 
impress your poolside pals with your science skills. Dog Jenga The Swahili word Jenga means to build. This game involves 53 wooden pieces, each block three times longer than its width, and the object of the game is for players to remove a block from the tower and then place it at the top level without causing the tower to fall. But as the game goes on, it gets very, very hard. Imagine how this dog feels. This talented pooch has shown off his incredible pup precision and patience by successfully playing Jenga. The Australian Shepherd named Secret, who lives in Iowa in the United States, was taught by her owner to play the difficult game. The breed is considered highly intelligent and easy to train. Plus, they're known for being especially eager to please their owners. Secret is no exception. She really enjoys games that require precision like this. So we've been having a lot of fun with it, the owner posted online. A British national who grew up in Ghana and West Africa invented the game. It was based on a game that she had played with her family using pieces from her brother's wooden blocks. I bet she never imagined it would evolve into this. Maybe try and train your own dog to a game of Jenga, and after enough practice, it's possible your pooch will prevail. <laughs> giant Anaconda Check out this giant anaconda seen in the Colombian Amazon in South America. Would you be able to keep calm if this was swimming by your canoe? Although the name is applied to a group of snakes, it's often used to refer to the common or green anaconda, which is the largest snake in the world by weight and the second longest after the reticulated python. One of the differential characteristics of the anaconda when compared to other snakes is that they have three thickened scales on each side of its snout. Additionally, anacondas find comfort on trees or still water ponds with fast currents, taking advantage of their agile swimming abilities. Anacondas are venomless snakes, therefore, their mode of hunting is constriction, which is necessary to suffocate the prey before swallowing it. Anacondas usually silently wait for their prey submerged in the river without being detected, but it's hard not to notice a snake that's this big swimming next to your boat. Anacondas swallow their prey completely whole, thanks to elastic ligaments and joints in their snout. They have two rows of teeth pointing backwards, which move independently in order to bite their prey. So we ask you again, now would you be able to keep calm if this was swimming by your canoe? <laughs> Speed stacking. Sport stacking, also known as cup stacking or speed stacking, is an individual and team sport that involves stacking 9 or 12 specially designed cups in predetermined sequences as fast as possible. Participants stack cups in specific sequences by aligning the inside left lateral adjunct of each cup with that of the next. Sequences are usually pyramids of 3, 6, or 10 cups. Players compete against the clock or another player to see who's the best. And for the first time in stacking history, Malaysia took the overall cycle world record. Stacker Chain King Ian broke the previous world record of 4.813 seconds with a new time of 4.753 seconds, making this the seventh official cycle stacked in under five seconds. And he's also one of just four speed stackers in the world to ever achieve a time below this mark of five seconds. The game was created in 1981 when a youth counselor took paper cups and asked his mentorees to stack the cups as fast as they could. And by the end of the decade, the new sport received national attention on late night talk shows. By 2001, the World Cup Stacking Association was founded to formalize the sport's rules and sanction competitions worldwide. Now look at how far it's come. If you blink, you'll miss the action. The Ghost Swing Many people around the world believe ghosts to be the spirits of the dead. Others think of them as projected energy, mimicking human behaviors, as simple as a floating white sheet or as complicated as a shape-shifting poltergeist. But a ghost swing? The witness behind the camera commented that they were recording this an hour after the swing started moving by itself. Apparently, they didn't even notice it at first, thinking someone had pushed it, but then realized that it was still going even after an hour. Filmed at a local farmer's market in British Columbia, could there be a child ghost behind this swinging? And why do all the best ghost stories always involve children? Ghost existence have never been proven, yet many believe in them. And in storytelling, they can provide the perfect vehicle for everything, 
from good-natured morality tales to horrific warnings or hauntings for the living, especially in movies. The witness on the scene here also said there was no wind and the other swings aren't moving. This is classic ghost story material. There were no children nearby at the time, so it would seem easy for a lot of us to maybe think it was something supernatural. See how much good you can do just by keeping your cameras rolling? The videos you create could live on in infamy if you just commit to filming everything. If not, just go like and subscribe while you're here. We've got you covered.